please join me in welcoming Madison. During our time at the University of Memphis, we've learned that Tiger Blue looks good on everyone. 300 dining dollars will never last us an entire semester. And if you're in need of some quick entertainment, then you can scroll through President Rudd's Twitter. We have also learned a lot about who we are and hopefully what we want to do in the world. And while all of these things are extremely important, there is one thing here that I want to make sure everyone knows. You are not just one person. All of you, each of you individually, are made up of your own dreams, secrets, and desires. You are completely capable of creating change, especially when you work together. We are empowered, we are aware, we are brave, and we are going to change the world. Someone very close to me once said that a better future is made by better individuals. I know how easy it is to become discouraged when you see all that's happening in the world. Oftentimes, I find myself wanting to turn off the news and ignore all the problems that come with it. I'm just one person. What can I do? I challenge you to use that feeling and let it motivate you. Work towards becoming the best version of yourself and surround yourself with others doing the same. Because you may be just one person, but so am I. Your best friend, your professor, the guy that takes your order at Central Barbecue, they're one person too. So now, instead of it just being you, you have five people, and your odds just got a little bit better. A few weeks ago, I was in a bit of a slump. Senioritis was hitting me pretty hard, and I had just been asked the question that all graduates dread. What are you doing after graduation? I was in need of motivation, and I needed it fast, so I did what any college student would do and turned to Twitter. While scrolling for my motivation, I came across a tweet about a word, Sonder. For those of you who aren't familiar with this word, Sonder is the realization that each random passerby is living a life just as vivid and complex as your own. Keeping this in mind, if there are billions of people in the world with differing opinions and beliefs, then why is it that we tend to base ours off the people around us? I challenge each of you to not just look to the people or outlets or environments around you because it's so easy to forget that we don't live in a bubble. Everyone can teach you something if you're willing to listen, and you can learn even more if you step outside of that bubble. I've been amazed with the amount of students here who have used their freedom of speech to peacefully protest and stand up for what they believe in. Students, individuals who have realized their potential to make a difference, have held silent protests regarding issues like sexual assault cases and racial injustices. They have also participated in movements like the National School Walkout and the Women's March. Graduates. It doesn't matter how you use your voice. All that matters is that you find it and you use it to stand up for others who don't have one. I'm not here to reassure you about the future because no one can guarantee how that will be. I'm here to inspire you to create the future and change that you want. Our commencement today reminds me of another commencement speech by David Foster Wallace. His speech reads the following quote. The really important kind of freedom involves attention and awareness and discipline and effort in being able truly to care about other people and to sacrifice for them over and over in myriad petty little unsexy ways every day. As we move into this new stage of becoming alumni of the university, I encourage you all to think about how you can also make a change in your community. Memphis has instilled a little bit of grit in all of us. It's important that we use that passion and perseverance to give back not only to the city of Memphis, but to the University of Memphis and future alumni as well. Our whole lives, we have been told one day. One day, we will be the ones to make the decisions. One day, we will be the ones in positions of power. 
One day, we will be the ones making the difference. That day is today. How will you use it? Thank you.